There is one killer move that all slicers do, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it forever. Now, I've done quite a few slice videos in the past, and there's two main things that take place. The club face is open to the path, and the path is out to in, also commonly known as over the top. And this means once a golfer gets to the top of the golf swing, the club moves outwards away from the body and cuts severely across the golf ball. That in conjunction with the club face is what creates that curvature. Now we're gonna fix that over the top move because it is killer. That's what makes you really hit that bad slice. Now this is a really simple drill that you can practice. You can use it at the driving range. And all you need is two golf clubs to achieve this. I've just grabbed my four and my five iron, two long clubs. Now I'm gonna use these two golf clubs to set up behind the golf ball and quite a distance behind the golf ball as well. So we're not gonna be anywhere near hitting it. Now imagine this, from this location now, straight to target, that is 12 o'clock the target. The camera is placed at six o'clock. I'm gonna put one club pointing away from the golf ball at roughly five o'clock. I'm gonna place another club, again, pointing away from the golf ball at roughly seven o'clock. So we've got 12 o'clock the target, you're at six o'clock, this is five, this is seven. Now golfers typically, when they swing from over the top, when they come in from this golf club, the backswing has actually gone more this way. The backswing goes too much towards seven o'clock. And what happens then, a golfer when they get to the top of the swing almost loops over that kind of exaggerated movement over to hit more from that five o'clock position. So today we're gonna switch that order around. We've got to swing back more at five o'clock and hit into the golf ball more from seven. So first thing we do, I'm gonna take the ball away and just use a tee peg. Now, once you're into your setup position, just practice this for me. When the club gets to halfway back, so it's pretty much in line with the hip, I want that golf club to be matching up with five o'clock. So it's parallel to that five o'clock position. That way, when you get to the top of this golf swing, the idea now is to get the feeling you're looping the club almost behind you. Your hands are dropping back. That elbow is tucking in and therefore, the club on the way down is more in that seven o'clock position as then you approach the tee peg. You can see there the difference between over the top swing is massive. Once you've rehearsed that a few times in slow motion, do it in normal speed, but again, without a golf ball. So this time I'm gonna go back to five o'clock, loop it at the top and hit from seven o'clock. One more time, back at five, and loop that swing. You're completely changing the way you swing. You're completely changing the habits that you've had for a lifetime of fixing that slice. Once you get that right, bring in the golf ball. And the last thing to do is trust it with a golf ball back at five, in at seven, and you'll hit a much, much straighter golf shot. In fact, I've just drawn it around the corner on this par four. Guys, thanks for watching. That'll help you fix your slice forever. See you next time.